least 29 are dead after Ida causes flooding in four states. In the aftermath of a ferocious storm that killed more than two dozen people in four states, national and local leaders acknowledged Thursday that extreme weather events posed an urgent and ongoing threat. The storm killed at least 29 people in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania and Connecticut and left more than 150,000 homes without power. States of emergency remained in effect across the region by midday Thursday, as officials sought to get a handle on the damage. Speaking from the White House, President Biden said that the damage indicated that extreme storms and a climate crisis are here, constituting what he called one of the great challenges of our time. At a news conference in Queens on Thursday morning, Governor Kathy C. Hochul of New York said that she had received a call from President Biden, who she said offered any assistance as the state assessed the damage from Ida, a storm that she said represented a new normal. We need to foresee these in advance and be prepared," she said. The deluge of rain on Wednesday, more than half a foot fell in just a few hours, turned streets and subway platforms into rivers. Emergency responders in boats rescued people from the rooftops of cars. Hundreds of people were evacuated from trains and subways. A tornado in southern New Jersey leveled a stretch of houses. Some rivers in New Jersey and Pennsylvania were still rising, 